Hey guys, it's Elizabeth Wales. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I want to talk about something that a lot of people struggle with and a lot of us don't even recognize the sign and that is perfectionism. I'm also going to go over a yoga stretch flow so we can work on our flexibility training, which is so important and oftentimes is neglected in our pursuit of perfectionism. So please like and please share. I'd like to bring as much value to as many people as I can. I'm going to be quoting from two really great books that I highly recommend. One is Brene Brown's The Gifts of Imperfection, and the other one is Shauna Nyquist's Present Over Perfect. These are great resources if you feel like maybe you're stuck in the vicious cycle of perfectionism and you need just to get out of it. So what is perfectionism? I really like how Brene Brown calls it out in her book, Gifts of Imperfection. She says, perfectionism is not the same thing as striving to be your best. Perfectionism is the belief that if we live perfect, look perfect, and act perfect, we can minimize or avoid the pain of blame, judgment, and shame. It's a shield. It's a 20 ton shield that we lug around thinking it will protect us when in fact, it's the thing that really prevents us from taking flight. Healthy striving, on the other hand, is self-focused. How can I improve? Perfection is other focused. What will they think? And this is what I'm talking about in the vicious cycle of perfectionism. It starts with the desire to contribute, which we all have. We all have a purpose and we all have value to bring to the world. But for many of us, with the desire to contribute comes the fear. Like Brene Brown says, what will others think? What will I look like? Uh, how can I act perfect? What if I make a mistake? And we get stuck from fear to distractions. And for many of us, that leads to procrastination and even anesthetization, where we become numb. And a lot of things in our modern society are very conducive to being anesthetized in everyday life. Things like, Brene Brown lists them, alcohol, drugs, food, sex, relationships, money, work, even caretaking, gambling, Staying busy can be a way that we're anesthetized, distracted, procrastinating because we're afraid of doing what we really want to do to contribute. Affairs, chaos, shopping, planning. These are all things that we can be using in our fear and our vicious cycle of perfectionism. And because we're perfectionists and we haven't done what we are supposed to do in life, what we really feel called to, to bring value to the world, we're frustrated and we have the desire to contribute. But now we've gotten used to the cycle. And so instead of contributing, we have fear, distractions, we've become anesthetized, we're frustrated and we have that desire. And that is something that we all need to recognize, especially so many of us get stuck here in distractions of procrastination and anesthetization and we never break free. We never do what we should be doing with our lives. Um, I really love this quote from Shauna Nyquist. She says, we can, uh, she says, I am coming to see that perfect is safe, control, and managed. But she is a recovering perfectionist and she talks about that in her book. I'm finding that she's, I'm drawn to the mess, to things that are loved to the point of shabbiness, or just wildly imperfect in their own gorgeous way. I just love that. And I wanna share with you a before and after of a gentleman who was able to overcome some of his perfectionist tendencies in pursuing of his health and fitness. So often, perfectionism keeps us from pursuing uh, the best versions of ourselves, including in ways of a healthier lifestyle that will promote wellness. So. We have a desire to become stronger, to lose some weight so we have more energy. And really guys, it isn't about vanity, although that can be part of it in our self-esteem, but 
being unhealthy is painful. We have desire to become a better version of ourselves, but we have a fear. Maybe we don't think that we know enough. Maybe we're afraid of getting out of our comfort zone and all the things that were distracted and keep us procrastinating and anesthetized, but we're frustrated. Here's a gentleman, his name is Isaac Medina. He's a Isobody finalist. Check out his before and after photo. Before and after. Amazing, right? And they share Isaac's story. He shares this with us. Not too long ago, Isaac was going through a divorce, working a demanding career as a mechanical engineer, and struggling to see his children as often as he liked. Things only got worse when he was laid off and had to sell his home. He felt like everything was falling apart and the stress took a toll on his confidence. Ready to take back his life, Isaac decided to focus on doing something for himself. He wanted to become a better person who positively influenced others. This father decided to move closer to his children and just before he left, he was connected with a person in our complete nutrition system, a leader, and he said yes to the solutions that my company offers. He later joined the Isobody Challenge and hired a physical trainer. He slowly gained his confidence back and was determined to finish this challenge. He focused on shifting his mindset and continually reminded himself to focus on progress rather than perfection. Today, Isaac's focus is clear He's working on transforming his body and his business, and he wants to share this complete nutrition system and the opportunities, our solutions it can bring to others. His confidence is back and anytime he's struggling, he says this Spanish phrase, no pasa nada, meaning everything is going to be all right. And here's another quote I really love that they shared with us. Here's uh, Isaac doing some of his training. He's doing awesome. And he also says, there we go. Put yourself on your to-do list because you are worth it. And you are worth it. So get out of the perfectionist cycle where maybe you have to have all the equipment or something like this. Message me if you have questions. Let me show you what you need to do and get started so that way you can have your healthiest life. Okay, let's get started with our stretch flow. So often when we are working on becoming stronger, fitter, we don't take the time to stretch. And flexibility training is not something that we should neglect. If we neglect our flexibility training, we're much more prone to injuries and we become stiffer and stiffer if we do not do some stretches. So let's go ahead and take the time today to do this quick yoga stretch flow. cleanse day today. I highly recommend it. It's a part of my complete nutrition system. So I'm drinking my adaptogenic drink as well as my peach mango. I'm sorry. This is just a, yeah, it's a peach mango <laughs> cleanse for life, which has an aloe vera base, which keeps my stomach from growling and being all discomfortable. And it tastes amazing. I'm also using content from our complete nutrition system. It's a wonderful essential oil blend. If you haven't used it yet, order it from your wholesale account. It's amazing. All right, here we go. Let's do our stretch flow. Go ahead and start by relaxing your body. You want to make sure you're breathing deeply through this yoga stretch flow. Okay, feet are hip width apart so you're nice and stable and you're going to reach up. Inhale and stretch back just lightly. We don't want to do anything too vigorous at First, if you can hold these poses for a full 30 seconds each, I recommend it. We're going to do five seconds for purposes of this video. Five, four, three, two, one. Now put your feet together and do a forward fold. If you can't touch your toes, that's fine. It'll come in time. Go ahead and grab your backs of your legs or um, your calves, wherever you can go, and breathe deeply. Five. Four, three, two, one. Okay, now step out. We're going to do a triangle pose. First, put the same hand onto the same foot or calf, knee. Just make sure that your 
leg is straight and if it's here that's enough stretch for you that's fine but do go to tolerable discomfort the other hand comes up and back to stretch your back and shoulder muscles too breathe deeply five four three two one and switch other hand on your foot and come back five four three two one now we're going to do the opposite triangle pose. Opposite hand on your foot. This is going to give you a little twist in your back. It's really amazing. And up and back. Five, four, three, two, one, and switch. Opposite hand on your opposite foot. Come up and stretch. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, while your feet are about double hip or more you're gonna go down to the center and stretch keeping your legs straight and five four three two one now this is one of my favorite we're going to go into a deep lunge and we're going to reach up and over nice stretch in your oblique inside five four three two one. If you're lunging deep enough, you should also feel it in your leg. It feels amazing. Deep lunge, up and over. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good. Now we're going to go opposite. So lunge, and this time you're going to come over this way. Five, four, three, two, one, and switch. Opposite, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good. The next one we're going to do is one that you should kind of gauge your safety based on your balance. If you need to, hold on to something as you begin. You're gonna be swinging your foot forward and back. And if you don't need to hold on to something, go ahead and use this as an opportunity to practice your balance and swing your leg to stretch out your muscles. Breathing deeply is going to help you with your balance. Up and back. Up. One more time. Good. And switch. You can start going a little bit slow and low, and then as you get more confidence, higher. One more time. Okay, down to our last stretch. We're, well, we're gonna do downward dog and upward dog. So let's start with upward dog. Go down on your mat and keeping your shoulders down, you're going to stretch your back and head backwards towards your feet. Breathing deeply, five, four, three, two. One, okay. Now switch that to downward dog to get one more stretch in your legs. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you for joining me for talking about perfectionism and doing this yoga stretch flow. Don't forget to do your cleanses if you're using our system. And don't forget to use your adaptogens to keep your body at homeostasis. And if you don't have your wholesale account set up yet, I would love to help you or contact the person who shared this video with you. Just ask some questions and let us answer them so that we, you can have your lifestyle to thrive. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.